All right, here we go. We're we're good now. Um, yeah. Okay, so technical difficulties earlier. So finally, we're actually starting a podcast. Let's let's go, dude. Okay. All right. So, uh, let's go. Oh yeah. What was the thing I used to say on all my episodes? Hold up. I, I'm trying to think. I think it's like, here we are again, boys, or something stupid like that. I always said something retarded in the beginning. But here I am, guys. I'm I'm back. Talkable podcast episode five with Dakota or Brahma Bull ninety nine. <laughs> we don't have topics. We're just talking, basically. You're just listening to us talk. Maybe do an ASMR. I'm not doing an ASMR. Come on, dude. It's easy. Make make a fart ASMR. We'll just go. Err. <laughs> 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 That's what I got. <laughs> so, we're like two little kids right now. <laughs> Let's just keep making fart noises. We're we're funny, guys. Um it uh we could really talk about whatever on this podcast. I, I kind of really don't care. That's what that's what I was saying before we even got started. It's been too long since I've done a podcast, so I guess it doesn't matter what I say. It's past is past. Now future is here. So let's let's just get wherever we can. Um, I guess uh, as a topic, real quick, like a quick side topic, or maybe just a topic. Period. Uh, how has coronavirus uh, really affected your life? Okay, so apparently, uh, okay, back about a month before all this crap started. Yeah. Uh, like, like all the, all the, like the, it being on the news. Wait. Mm-hmm. Uh, I swear to God I had it, because I felt like shit for a month. I could, I could barely talk. Cough, I was, I was coughing, and yeah, it was, I, I've never felt like that much crap in my life. I just, mm. I thought I had it, to be honest with you, because of the symptoms that was happening right then and there and with it. I was like, why am I actually just have it? But then I was also like, well, it's not like it lasted extremely long. It only lasted like maybe a week and like a half. Uh, I got like, My, I got like flu ago. symptoms, you know, I got like these flu symptoms and like, it was like that. And I felt like I really couldn't really move out of bed, but I either way did. And I didn't feel extremely bad, like, you know, or whatever. Like, if it was the flu, it felt weakened, you know, like it felt really weak. And like, I even went to the doctor and it came back negative for like the flu. So that's why I was like, what have I got then? Yeah, that, you know? that was, that was, that was what my tests were too. Uh, they, they said it was inconclusive and that I didn't have the flu or anything like that. They didn't actually, they actually did not know what I had. <laughs> yeah. There's so many like viruses and stuff that's going around right now. Not just coronavirus. There's like Aiden virus and stuff like that. Why? I'm going to, I'm going to make up my own virus. Like act oh, like there's a virus. Like, like there really isn't, but like, I'm just going to like start like making up symptoms for a virus and call it the, uh. Like something stupid, like the the poo poo uh mouth. It's like your breath starts to stink really bad, and uh, your throat may hurt. Uh, your nostrils get real runny. You uh run a fever. Uh, and you might uh have headaches. You know, maybe cough a little bit. And uh, if you cough, normally the back of your throat Every hurts. Every time I would lay down, I would cough. Every time I sit up, I cough. I cough in the middle of the night, wake myself up. What I think is really funny about this whole coronavirus thing, like, I, I know we shouldn't have anything funny about it, but, like, the thing is funny is when they listed off symptoms, I started to realize all the symptoms seem just like an everyday symptom. That's horrible. Like, right? having a cold is basically having coronavirus. It's, you know, you can't tell which is different because of the symptoms. Yeah. yeah. It's like, uh, like the coughing and the, and the fever, I mean, all that could happen within a day. I mean, it doesn't really like if you're out in the sun too damn long. It 
or you're in a really hot place and it makes you feel like you have a fever. Yeah, how, how the coronavirus affected me, to be honest with you, it's barely affected me. But what has really affected me on was schooling because I have problems with, like, homeschool stuff. Because you got, you got to, like, homeschool now. Like, it's basically what you are is homeschooled. And I'm not good with that kind of stuff. I can't do anything at home. Uh, I can edit these videos or whatever. But that's, like, the mo main focus I've ever had. Uh, get, like, like, I tried to do my homework. I'm not going to lie. I did try. But, like, it's like I can't do anything in it. It took me, like, four hours to do a page. And it was, like, I don't know why it took me that long. This is easy work. Uh, yeah. So that that's why I'm like, dude, just I can't do it. I really can't. I feel like I can't. Can I just wait until school starts back and then like make up my stuff? Like maybe even maybe just fail this year and do it again next year or something. It's not like I'm too old now. Like if I was 20 right now, I probably would be on the internet and be like, ooh, I gotta do all my stuff. But like I'm not 20. I'm I'm 18. Yeah. I have to wait another year. <laughs> I'm yeah. okay with that. Uh, um there's uh I watched the Sonic the Hedgehog movie. I don't know if you've seen that in my in the general of our uh Discord. Speaking of which, check out the Discord everyone, link in description. Um But yeah, I watched it's Sonic fun. the Hedgehog the movie and it's actually pretty good. Like it's not bad. Uh I don't think it's extremely good, though. I don't believe it's, like, top quality, but it's, uh, in my opinion, it's at Woody Woodpecker peak for movies. Like, I'm not talking about the cartoon Woody Woodpecker, but the movie, you know? So, it, it it's in the same category for me. Like, literally in the same, like, place. It's, they're literally just alike. Like, just alike. Damn. Um... Oh, and also it tells you the story of how Sonic became Sonic and how uh, Dr. Eggman became Dr. Eggman, just for people who's going to be confused by it. Because like, when it starts off, you're like, that's not what Dr. Egg looks like. Dr. Eggman looks like. Actually, it's Robotnik. There's a difference, in a way, because like, if you what really like pay Jerry attention... What? Professor Eggman? See, see like... Jerry, Professor Eggman? Yeah. So, like, the difference between Dr. Eggman and Robotnik is, like, Dr. Robotnik is, like, the guy who was there during Earth time, like, in Earth. But, like, Dr. Eggman is, like, the guy that was in the generation of where Sonic was in his own world, you know? So, that's how I look at it. It's, like, two different people who are literally the same, you know? It's kind of like twins, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I haven't seen it yet, but I, I wouldn't mind watching it. Uh, I really have nothing, nothing really further on that topic. Well, uh, here's a, here's a really cool question for all those guys and gals out there, and then you. Uh, so, um, do you fold or crumble when wiping? Hmm? Huh? What? What? <laughs> you fold or crumble? <laughs> Oh boy, he went to mute. Okay, there we go. He's Sorry. back. It's all good. Yeah, that was an accident. It's all good. It's all good. We we're all enjoying our life right now. Um, <laughs> I, I sound like I sound like some like hippie kind of guy. Yeah, yeah, it's all good, man. We're just we're just smoking some weed and chilling on the back of the bed. God. <sighs> I wonder, I wonder if, like, hippies, like, try to reject sex, or do they actually have it? Like, <laughs> I'm, like, thinking this through right now, because I'm, like, do they go, yeah, man, we're, we're like animals. We got to repopulate to keep our group going, like wolves, like a pack of wolves. But, like, <laughs> or are they, like, no, man, we don't treat females like that. We all are the same. You know, it's, like, what? hold up. What do you mean? <laughs> That's actually what he's talking about. You know what? Um, 
so, something that I really need to talk to you about is uh, how uh, how did you feel about the new Call of Duty? I mean, I know it's been out for quite a while, but like Call of Duty Modern Warfare, like whatever, is pretty good game no, in my the, opinion. I played, I played Modern Warfare 3 on PS3, and it was actually pretty good. Um, but I haven't played the new Modern Warfare. Oh, you okay, never I mind. Really that sucks. I really okay. want to. Okay. The new the new one's pretty good in my opinion. A lot of people are telling me it sucks, played, like it gets boring too fast or whatever. I'm like, how can it? It actually seems like a very competitive one. Like the the rest of them didn't feel competitive. Like the only competitive one I could think of besides like the newest one is either World at War or Modern Warfare like the first one. You know, like the first Modern Warfare, yeah. like that's the two like competitive ones. But then the rest don't feel as competitive, even though second and third like Modern Warfare is competitive, and Black Ops One sort of competitive. It's just you know, like I, like I said, it's now Black Ops Three does not feel competitive at all. It feels like you're you're just relaxing and playing a game, in my opinion, because yes. you literally run Honestly, on the wall I, and I you can just. I've played the story on Black Ops on Black Ops uh, three, and the story the story mode is actually quite messed up. Oh. And um, yeah, you can you okay? You basically have all your limbs torn off by one of the GI units, and then you uh meet meet the the guy that while well, you're trying to hunt down in the end, uh he take he basically takes you and turns you into. Half man, half cyborg. Whoa, that's that's actually really crazy. See, I only played the Black Ops yeah, One and Two and campaign can... because, like, you know, they they was good story. Yeah. They are like Black Ops One has a really good story and fun. Uh, Black Ops Two is really good too because it start it continues from one, and then also like yeah. you get to like customize your like loadout and stuff for your every mission. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I thought that was really awesome too. But you, as if you um, start out like like first, start out, you don't exactly anything because you have to unlock it. Um. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Yeah, uh, but that's the only downside. But in Black Ops, in Black Ops Three. Uh, you you basically are this cyborg, per- this this half man, half cyborg person. It kind of goes along with infinite, but not completely. Mm. Uh, in modern warfare, not not modern warfare, ah, uh, Black Ops Three, the story. Um, you, I, I told you you get all your limbs cut off by uh, uh, ripped off by a GI unit, and this guy takes you to make you a half cyborg, half half man. Well, when you're in this cyborg state, you can basically link with other people's G, a GI, a GI unit server, and you can see their past. It's like there's a chip in their brain that emits the other, other people that have the GI unit. The, yeah. uh, there is one part in the game where you're in this woman's mind, and you're basically starting back. Seems like World War Two, One, something like that. Uh, I'm just getting. I'm just giving preference. I don't really know when it was or what it was. Um, but it, it, you fight out. You're trying to fight a bunch of people, and they just literally turn into basically pick whenever. You, and then there's one part whenever you fight whenever you fight wolves and they just come at you from every angle like the uh, uh, hellhounds do. Yeah. Now l- uh, listen, it, it, like I, I I'm hearing you out right now, but you gotta hear this, okay? So there's this guy, and he turned himself into a pickle, the funniest shit I've ever seen. I swear. Pickle Rick. <laughs> I seen those memes, dude. And I, I was like crying because I thought they were so funny. Because it was like, funniest shit I've ever heard. I was like, no, it's not. It's actually not. And people act like it was. People actually act like it was so funny. 
Okay. Uh, you want to you want to tell weird stories? Just like just like some crazy stuff that's like happened. Maybe dreams. You know, dreams is a good place to start. Like my first episode was about dreams. Because okay, I had like well, a, I had a weird dream last night. I will tell you about that. Well, I was going to tell a dream from whenever I was seven. Go ahead. Okay, so I was in this mansion, and it was like an old, white, cr- uh, creaky old mansion. Yeah, I don't care. Well, <laughs> I'm just playing. It was me and a group of friends, and I was the last person. They were all dead, except for maybe one or two. Um, and we were being chased by this werewolf that wore pants and carried a chainsaw. Every time it would see us or see me, it would howl, and then I'd hear this chainsaw uh, just start up and everything. And then, uh, then I'd outrun, then I'd outrun it, and all this other good stuff, and then hide in a room, and then, you know, it's it's basically a, trying to get out of the mansion, sort of sort of ordeal. It was it was really really weird. And then right as soon as I was like going to the door, the the wolf the the wolf werewolf he uh, caught up to me, and that's where I woke up. Sounds sounds like a sounds like a scary dream. Yeah, I had weird dreams whenever I was a kid. I, like an, like another one, I was in a like in a factory. Uh, don't really remember much. I I had this dream once, and it was like, uh, like it was last night is what I'm talking about. This dream last night, my yeah, my uncle gets this blonde headed girlfriend. Okay, we go and watch a six hour movie. Like it's it's just weird, like as hell. Like I don't understand this dream. We're going to see a movie, and like it's me, my uncle his girlfriend, my mom, my dad, and my little cousin. We go see this movie that is literally like the earth spinning, and that's like it. It's just the earth spinning. Um, <laughs> that's that's it uh, for like six hours. And we're sitting there watching it, and for some reason, my oh. uncle's like girlfriend, like this is a non-existent person too, like in – like. For some reason, like I, they say it's impossible, but I swear it's possible because like I've never even heard or seen this person before. Uh, I don't even know their name because they never told me in the dream. But she was like sitting right beside me in that chair while we're watching this movie, and like the the, the theater <laughs> theater was full of people with this movie uh, about the Earth spinning. That's literally it. <laughs> uh, so like. <laughs> I'm sitting here beside her. And she she just looks at me, and she's like, "Um, I love you." I'm like, "Um, uh, what what do I say? Like, uh, sure, I love you too. I guess, you know, like, like you're you're my uncle's girlfriend. Why do why'd you say that?" And I, I just continue <laughs> looking at the screen. It's I kind of like look back at her. I don't know why I looked at her, but she's like staring dead at me with her eyes. And she just kind of leans in and kisses me on the lips. And I'm like, what? (laughs) And for some reason, I feel tickled for some reason. Like, oh, she kissed me. But I was like, why why do I feel tickled by this? And then, then, next thing you know, I'm in a bathtub. I'm I'm really short. I'm probably like 12 inches tall. Maybe maybe 6 inches tall. The water is like rising up on me. And there she is in the bed, in the bathroom, naked, on top of me, basically. And I'm like, dude, she's naked. Oh my fucking god, what's going on? I p- I pick up her body, and the water's like rising. I'm about to drown, and I'm picking up her body so she doesn't drown. And she's like asleep or some shit. And I pick her up, and like as I drown, I ended up waking up in my bed. Uh. I'm facing towards my bear. Like I have a I have a big old like dog thing, you know, like a yeah. like a stuffed animal to sleep with. Uh yeah, yeah. I'm a guy that sleeps with a d- stuffed animal. I'm I'm like that, okay? I, I enjoy cuddling. Uh so well, I, no, I cuddle I have a, a huge ass bear as a pillow. I mean, I, I use it as a pillow too. 
See, see that, that. I mean, guys do it too. Leave us alone, um, women. Just kidding. I, I don't know. I don't know what people actually think about that. It's just I enjoy it. It makes me feel better. So, anyways, I'm I'm like woke up and I'm holding on to the stuffed animal, and I let go and kind of like throw my body to the left. My my head still facing towards the uh, bear, and I'm like. Oh my god, sleep paralysis. And but like it's like if it's only in my head though. Like I could I lifted up my arm, but it like took everything in me. And I lifted it up and I'm like, okay. Okay, I got that. And the next thing you know, I'm starting to move the rest of my body but my head. My head is still facing towards the bear. I'm like, fuck, dude. How do you how do you get away from this? Uh so I turned like my shoulders and stuff to the left, like to turn myself away from it. And I turn around and it it caused my head to move over to it that way and I could see. And I was like, "All right." So I went to go stand up, but like I just fell right back down and my head faces right back at the bear. I'm like, "God, dude, this is too much work. I just want to get out of bed and pee." <laughs> like that's basically it. <laughs> I, I, I finally get up, and it's like I'm drunk, and I'm walking on my cast. Like, because, it, guys, I broke my ankle. I forgot to tell y'all. Uh, I made, like, an update video, but I don't think anybody's seen it. I broke my ankle. So, like, anyways, I'm getting up, and I'm walking on my broke ankle, like, with cast and all. And I get to my door, and I fall. And, like, because I, I feel like I'm drunk. And I fall, and, like, hit the wall, and then I hit the ground. And... All of a sudden, like, I don't remember what happens after that, but I just woke up in my bed for reals this time. And I was yeah. like, I can't live with this dream. I have no, 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 wait, no, I remember now. I woke up because I fell on the ground and then I woke back up. And when I woke up, I was on my like couch and there's this dude named Mickey Goodwolf that was just sitting in, I shouldn't have just like, you know, it doesn't matter. That's not his real name. Um, so th this is some guy that I used to work with, you know, kind of guy. He's a really good guy. He's really cool. But uh, I sat there right on the couch and woke up to him s sitting there in my, like, living room. And I'm like, what are you doing here? You know, like, what? why are you here? And he's like, he's like, <clears throat> Matt Dillon, Matt Dillon, I, I gotta tell you, listen, listen, I have a brand new idea. We're gonna start a cafe instead of a magic shop. It will, it'll work better. It'll work better. I swear it's gonna work better. And I'm like, oh, oh, uh, sure, sure. That sounds like a good idea. Let's, you know, kind of thing. Like, I'm just agreeing. Uh, I actually really and in, in truly, like, inside, uh, in reality, I really want to start a cafe. Like, that's actually something I really want to do. Um, it's just, I have a huge bucket list just for like things I want to do as a goal, you know, not like, it's not like I really want to do it as in like money gain and stuff. It's just like something to do for fun, like as a life thing. Like if I started up my own shop, I would love to do that because I want to see how I can work it up. But, uh, that's what was going on. And I'm like, all right, yeah, I would love to do that, you know. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. just, just uh, talk to me and blah, 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 kind of thing. It was like if it was like a Skyrim quest. I was like, doo, 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 you know, the the sound comes off, <laughs> and I'm sitting there like, oh, okay. But uh, I open up the door. <laughs> I'm looking outside. The sun's shining, and I'm like, wow, that's bright. And then next thing you know, I woke up in my actual bed. Like, what is going on? Am I freaking out? Like I'm, I, I couldn't tell what was going on anymore. All I know is I get up and I know it's for real this time because I had folded clothes on like my table because my mom folded my clothes and stuff because I can't really do much, and like they was laying on there and I pull open my dresser drawer and I'm fucking pissed. And, like, this is reality, though. Like, I don't even know why I'm still going on. But, like, I'm fucking pissed because I can't open up a drawer. And I finally open it. And it's full. And I'm, like, trying my best to stuff my stuff in there. Then I check my second drawer because I was like, Mom messed up somewhere. Because she apparently, like, I knew she put up something wrong. And I checked my second drawer. Or not my second drawer. In, the, in that bottom drawer where my pants are supposed to go, there was, like, 
clothes that are pajamas in there. And I was like, my pajamas don't go in this drawer. They go in the second drawer. I'm organized. Like, I organize everything. <clears throat> my shorts and my, like, pajamas are all in my second drawer. Um, the, the thing is, is I don't organize my school stuff because I suck at that. It's, like, the hardest thing for me. I don't know why. But that's the end of my conversation. I was really mad about it, though. Then I had to pee. Did you ever get to the bathroom? <laughs> No, nah, I pissed myself, dude. I pissed all over myself. But then I woke up and I was oh, like, my bed's hey. wet. Hey. <laughs> no, I'm I just have... kidding. <laughs> okay, I, I'm going to tell this to the world. It's embarrassing, but it has happened. It's true. 100%. I have a friend here who can vouch that this happened to me. Okay, I had a dream where I was sitting on the toilet. And... I'm peeing in the toilet. It was around 5 o'clock in the morning. And I was just like, ah, oh, it feels so good. But then I, but then I just feel, so, then I, then like, dream. I feel like wet go down my leg. And I was just like, and then I, then I instantly wake up. And I was like, oh, my God, I'm peeing on myself. I did that, too. <laughs> I literally did that, too. It sucked. I had, the, I had a weird dream. Like, okay, I had this really <laughs> weird dream. Where, like, there's this putty I was playing with, and it made my fingers longer and stuff like that. I don't know why, but it did. And I put it on my wee-wee. And, uh, ooh, yeah, I tried to make my wee-wee bigger because it's small. Uh, no, uh, it actually duplicated. It made, like, two of them. And I was like, oh, cool. I'm just going to pee through both of them. And I went to go pee, and the next thing you know, I'm peeing in real life. And, like, I peed in my bed, and I was like, oh, my God, no. Guys, I'm embarrassed. Leave me alone. Well, I, I, I just peed to dabble. I didn't I didn't let out the hole. I didn't let out the hole. You know, I, I, I didn't let out my whole bladder. I don't, I don't know what I let out, to be honest with you. I can't remember. It's That was a long time ago. Like, I wasn't a kid, but I was probably, like, 15 or 16 when that happened. No, this, this, was just, this was just either this year or last, or last year. It was pretty recent. Yeah. It uh, was pretty big. Oh, yeah, boy. And my, and my friend had warned me prior to that, if you have a dream where you're on the toilet, you better try to wake your ass up <laughs> because, you're, because you're either going to be on yourself or shit on yourself. And uh, it happened to me. So uh, every time I have a dream about being on the toilet, I wake up because <laughs> I don't want to pee my bed I play a, like, like, I was sworn, like, I, I'm trying to think of it, like, everybody has this problem, I swear everyone's got this problem. It's like you have the thought of something, but well, you can't, like, remember it. Problem. It's like, okay, like, you'll you'll say, like, oh, yeah, there's this thing that happened, but you will never figure out what that thing was. So, like, this, this is my problem right now, is I remember there was something, like, recently that was just freaking creepy and i don't know what it was because like i i don't know like it, it feels like a game or something i was playing but it was just it had like the creepiest thing going on for some reason huh that's boy speaking of creepy i'm actually uh right uh still writing a new horror story and i might read it on my channel but i'm not sure it matters how long it'll get uh but so far, it's actually pretty decent, and it's only a page long, though. Like, it's like a page and a half long. But, like, this is like 11 uh, text size, you know, and not double spaced or anything. Just like 11 text size, Arial. And it's not that, uh, it's like, it's like I said, it's just a page and a half, but it feels like a lot more. Like, if I bet if I put in Times New Roman, 12. Uh, text space and then like double space it. Yeah, uh, I'm sure it's gonna be like three pages, but the story is actually really interesting to me. Um, so like, whatever. Let's just end it there. I, sh I shouldn't like spoil the book, but um, yeah. Oh yes, don't spoil, don't spoil your own book now. I know, right? Um, but I, I got I I did a uh, I tried to write a book one time. Writing's I, fun. I, did, I, I mean, it is because because you mean you get to put your create your ideas and creativity on paper. Oh, I know. But I really couldn't. I really could not get 
a full story out of it. I basically only did about what two chapters, three chapters. Um, it was a good five or six pages. It was, uh, and I and I and I titled it uh, "Friends of Marion," which it was based. Okay, well, um, back to the recording. My bad, guys. Uh, so if y'all heard a story get cut out, it's it's my fault. I had to pee. Uh, never never really had that happen before. That was our first time. Oh, are, are you okay? Are, is your sound working, bro? Bro. Hello? Oh, bro. Wait. Keep talking. I can't, I can't hear you. I can't hear you. It's weird because it's, it's like if I can, but I can't. I did this earlier too. Yeah. All right. Um. Uh, yeah, I'm recording again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's this should be working fine. Yeah. Okay. So back back to uh conversation. Um. So, uh, what what was I talking about? I, it doesn't matter. We past is past. Am I right? F- fuck who's last? Let's keep going. <laughs> we gotta be first. Fuck last. We gotta be first. I've uh, man, just just lost like complete conversation inside right now. I'm I'm trying my best to think. Mm. I I wanted to tell like ghost stories and stuff, but like I have none to be honest with you. Well, I don't really have any either. You know, I have laid something down though. Like, you you ever had that moment where you lay something down and it's like there is no way that thing will fall off, but it does. Or either that, or you lay it down, and then it's not like in a simple. It's like it's in a, it's in a simple place. You get up to go do something else, and then you come back to look for whatever the hell it is, and you can't find it. Yes, I freaking hate that, dude. Like, oh my god, it, that that's like the most annoying thing on this earth. Okay, but I have a funny story to that. Oh, okay. It is the biggest blonde moment of my life. <laughs> okay, so. This is back whenever I was dating my ex. Um, I was, I, I, and also I had, I had an iPhone back then. Um, yeah. Okay, so I was watching Netflix on my iPhone, and I was watching the Garfield show. I'm watching it, you know, thirty thirty minutes go, thirty minutes go by, and I and I think to myself, God, Alyssa hasn't texted me in a while. So, so, so I so instantly I start looking for my phone. I'm looking all around. I get up and I'm holding my phone in my hand. I look, I get up. I look on the couch. And I, uh, my friend Jim was there with me. And I sit back down. And I lay my phone back on the couch. Good old Jim. <laughs> and then, uh, I look up at him and I say, "Hey, Jimmy, have you seen my phone?" He looks right down at it and right back up at me. I look down, <laughs> I look back up at him, and I say, "Shut up!" <laughs> you asked him the question. You tell him to shut up, <laughs> bro. <Bruh. laughs> <laughs> no, he basically gave me the answer just by looking down at my phone and looking back up at me. Because then I realized I was holding my phone the whole damn time. <laughs> damn. Uh, yeah. I, I like when you hold your phone. <laughs> I like it when you hold your phone and then you stare off at the TV and then you forget that your phone even like open or anything right there in your hand. Yeah, it's really funny. Like, you, like, like you're trying to text somebody, then something catches your ear on the TV and you just like look up and then you like for you watch forever, however long. And, and then they, your then phone's like dead the next time you look down. Like, it's the battery's like the battery life says from like a hundred percent down to like twenty percent. It's like need to be charged. You're like, oh yeah. So, oh, I forgot to do that. Wait a minute. It was just a hundred percent like ten minutes ago. What the hell happened? Yeah. What the fuck? 
<laughs> what is this? What is this? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> you imagine if we give like a bunch of monkeys technology, like where they would go? Oh no, that take over the universe. <laughs> This is my shit. They're like taking selfies with their shit. Like they're holding shit like up to their face and taking like selfies. They're going, This is my poo. (laughs) Hi, my name's Robert. (laughs) No, 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 no. You remember in scary movie, the scary movie five, Caesar, uh, the monkey? Uh, no, I barely remember five to be honest with you. Okay, let me, let me tell you about it. Okay, whenever he goes to the house, <laughs> uh, oh, I forget who Lindsay Lohan. She, uh, she sees him, and she doesn't. She doesn't really know who he is, so she like punches him in the face. And then, uh, <laughs> and then it later cuts, cuts, cuts to where he's sitting on the counter, and she gives him some ice and all this other good stuff. And her husband's in the room. And then he goes away. Her black friend comes, and then uh, she comes up behind, sees her, and then she kicks the shit out of him, like like kicks him in his groin, punches his, face. and then, <laughs> and then it cuts, and then it cuts to him sitting on the counter again. Except they give him a bag of peas to go on his groin, and they just like slam him, and he goes, ooh! <laughs> this was after Consuelo left. I think her name was Consuelo. Either way, uh, then later on in the movie, it shows him in his room, cleaning shit everywhere, and then he just starts masturbating. What the hell? I know. I was just like, "What? What is this?" Uh, <laughs> I, th- I know this sounds weird, but like, I think it's really funny to go on like porn websites and just read the comments. Oh, I've never, I've never read the comments. Just, just read the comments. It's like, look up some porn and just read the comments. It's funny. I like. <laughs> Like, I don't advise anybody 18 and under to do that. Uh, keep it, like, when you're at the right age. Keep uh, it. Okay, okay, okay. Younglings, we don't know what porn is. Anyways, I've read, like, like it's funny because it could be the fakest thing. It could be, like, this, like, really bad graphic thing, like Johnny Quasar kind of, like, video look and... Uh, I don't know if you've heard of it, but like th- that that was the uh that was supposed to be Jimmy Neutron before he was Jimmy Neutron. They called him Johnny Quasar. And uh it, it was like that bad of graphics. Like it was just like this really bad graphics, like like so bad and it'd be like boob expansion video or whatever. I don't even know why I clicked on it, but I'd click on it and I'd read the comments and it'd be like I hope the fuck our titties. I'm like, <laughs> I hope I meet you one day. I'm like, are you serious? Or is this like real? Is this is a real comment or like, because that that definitely isn't real. Like that that girl is not real, man. This stuff isn't real. Oh my god. You know, like you know, like uh, ten uh, like tentacle coitus and all this other good stuff. Yeah, it's it's. Real I seen this. Man. I seen this one. Unless like I didn't like, click go, on like, it. Unless you get like an octopus horny or something, and he's just like, "Hey, let's go fuck this all up octopus." <laughs> I seen this one, and I I didn't click on it or anything. It was just kind of like advertising, and I was scrolling down through there, and it just says, "Uh, the blue pill worked. You are now a sissy." <laughs> and I was like, "No, oh no, God, no! Why does that exist?" <laughs> And uh, for people that doesn't know what a sissy is, uh, work, if you're un- <laughs> if you're under eighteen, don't look it up. If you're eighteen, look it up. Um, sissies are not hot, and it's you don't want to look it up either way. Like if it, you know, it's 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 basically a guy dressed up as a girl. What's that? But uh, yeah. Um, 
I like oh, uh, you have like a piece of shit in your hand. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Uh, Dust Bunny. You jackass. Okay, what just happened? Okay, I'm gonna tell this to the fuck. Go, go for it. Stop, bunch- stop it. Anyways, <laughs> stop. Quit. Anyways, I'm deaf. I am definitely. And this asshole goes and collects fucking cobwebs, and then throws it at me. And he pick- and I pick it up. He tells me what the fuck it is. And I throw it down. But it's cool like a damn little girl. <laughs> <laughs> I've uh, okay. I like like you you would expect a spider in some places. Like I've opened I've opened like the basement, like like not in my house. I don't have a basement, but like at my cousin's house, I've opened up the door to the basement, went down there, and then like in the corner where you would think that maybe a huge spider would be, instead of that, there was a bird that just flies out. And I'm like, what the hell? And then there was like four birds, and it was just like baby birds, just like flying around. And I ca- we catch them to let them out, like let them free. We're like, why y'all? What are y'all doing in here, basically? And like, yeah. I was like, why is there like four or five birds in like the basement? Either way, like I don't even think there's windows in the basement or whatever. Like I literally think it's just like a normal basement kind of thing. And there's just like birds that was like flying around. They build a nest in there and everything. Like, what the hell, man? This is not how it's supposed to work. We made <laughs> houses. Animals ain't supposed to live in them unless you have that pet. I mean, as a pet, you know, have it as a pet. Okay, speaking of my name, by the way, like I forgot to tell people this, but Cabby the Bowser main, that's uh, Cabby is my gamer name for like, you know, Melee and uh, other Smash games, but it, it's mostly for Melee. I don't play Smash games besides Melee. And uh, I, I, I main, uh, like I used to main Ganondorf, but like I literally will main anyone and I decided to just main Bowser for fun. It's just, you know. So that that's just to get that out there. I, I, yeah, we we up B a lot, and we side B a lot, and then we also love to just grab onto the ledge. But it it it's lit. Am I right? Am I? Uh, well, uh, just being just going to put this out there as well. Uh, Bravo Ninety Nine is well, of course, my gaming tag on. Uh, PlayStation Network. My PlayStation Network is uh okay. I can't really remember like what it was named, but oh, well, it's something like Pokemon Slasher sixty nine, something stupid like that. And uh, you know, you can really find it if you go back to Talk a Day TV. Like I'm being dead serious. Go back to Talk a Day TV. And go look for uh, this the certain um, video, three guys, one joke. And at the end of the video, where I said my uh, my PSN name is, it, it really is that PSN name now. Uh, I changed like I I made a whole new PlayStation Network name and everything, and it was literally Pokemon Slasher or whatever, and it was retarded. I I, I hate it. Also, when I but, use the word retarded, I don't mean it in like a special ed way. I'm not trying to be that mean. My God, dude. I just mean it as in dumb. I, I would say dumb, but I, I keep forgetting to say dumb. It just kind of comes out as retarded. <laughs> so, retarded. I, I po- apologize to everyone who's been hearing me say that. Uh, uh, this ain't going to oh, get monetized. By the way. <laughs> But by the way, for all you PSN users that want to add me, go ahead and add me. Brumable 99 Capital B's, everything else. Hey, bro, cl- bro, you can't case. advertise on my channel. Go make your own channel for that. <laughs> I can't believe, like, nobody's going to watch this. This is just going to be, like, me and you talking for, like, three views, probably. God knows, actually. I might actually get views again because Talkable Podcast coming back. Uh, the last episode was like 70 views, so that was pretty cool. Um, oh, yeah. 
maybe maybe it'll grow. Maybe maybe my podcast will grow. Uh, y'all should definitely join the Discord. Uh, it's it's really nice. I've said that twice now, but uh, it's it's really cool. Uh, yeah, I, I've been playing like a crap ton of Skyrim, believe it or not, and I I, I hacked into like the console thing. And like I said, that's so weird. Like I sound, I sound like an edgy like person. Like yeah, I hacked into the. I hack. I'm a hacker. But no, I went to. The, I went to the console and was like checking out the like cheats and stuff. And there's like a give uh all shout to magic spells and stuff. And I used it. Then I went and checked out all the shouts and stuff. And apparently there's like a spell, and I don't know if this is supposed to be a spell, like always, or like maybe this is something they took out of the game, but you can only reach if you cheat. But there's yeah. a spell where you can morph into a skeever. And I'm like, what is the reason for that? Like, why why would you ever like just just like morph into a skeever in the game? Yeah, but uh doing one. I'm gonna try to start. I'm trying. I'm going to be trying to start a YouTube channel with uh, for my game for my gaming and stuff like that. I'm also going to be trying to do VR videos. Yeah, I'd, I'd be so down do for them. you to join me in my like gaming ser- series because like I don't I don't know what to do about it. Like Resident Evil Zero right now, I I just got done posting three episode three and I gotta record more tomorrow morning. It's it's ten fifteen now on a. Um, um, on a Tuesday, and it's April the fourteenth of twenty twenty. So that uh, I'm just giving you full detail of where we where it is right now, where we at. So like, yeah, yeah. I, I posted episode three today, and I've uh, I really I enjoy that. making these Resident Evil videos, but uh, I feel very lonely. Nobody's watching them, so well, I'll have to go watch that. Oh, it's nice. It's Resident Evil Zero, and like, I put as much editing as I can to it. Okay, like it's not like I'm just editing a little bit and then be like, yeah, that's good or whatever. I'm doing what I can. I I really am. I'm I'm doing like all I can, uh, putting you, as much what, effort. What gaming system do you do you have? I mean, what? Do you have a PS4? Uh, yeah, I do, but I don't use it. Well, you should totally get a get like a VR with me and, and do VR videos with me. I would love that VR, but I don't have it yet. Uh, I want to I want to like get VRs for the computer and play VR chat. Like that's the biggest thing I want to do. I really want to oh, play yeah. VR chat. I really want to also play Borderlands VR, but you, I, I'd rather have that for PlayStation Four. Yeah. It actually looks really good. I don't know if it is, but like the PlayStation Four, like Borderlands VR looks so fun. I would love to play it. Yeah, I was also also. Uh... Wait, why can't I advertise? Why can't you advertise? Yeah, why can't I advertise? Because you're a dummy. Ain't nobody love you. Why would you ever ever? <laughs> I'm just playing with you. Uh. I was just kidding. You you didn't advertise. I don't care. Okay. Well, there is another. There's uh also one of uh, another one of my best friends. Dylan Dylan has uh actually been there for me. Uh, well, whenever, oh, wow, I, so whenever I, I did meet somebody. Uh, I can't I can't say that about Dylan and all my other friends uh that I have currently. They have been for me in in my times of need, but I have been for them been there for them in the same way. Uh, I was gonna. I was going to also advertise my friend. My friend Eric. His is football underscore fifty six. E M, I believe. What What did Eric? Uh, what did Eric have to do with Dylan? You You was like, yeah, Dylan. Um, with this and. Uh, I'm just. I'm just. For- I'm just giving a preference on our friendship. <laughs> because because you are one of my best friends. You do know that, right? Of course, yeah. Well, yeah, I was just giving a preference because, I mean, you all have done the same for me as I've done for you. I like how I literally Except just, like, called myself Dylan and everything. Like, I just, like, like if... Yeah, dummy! 
Like if I was a whole different person, like Dylan's not <laughs> me, guys. I'm insert rat joke pickle the snack. King in third person. I'm insert rat joke pickle the snack. Um, I actually <laughs> like I I do go by pickle the snack on here. Uh, even though my channel's insert rap joke, that's just the name of the channel. It doesn't mean that's not my name. Like I go by Dylan and pickle the snack on here. Like it's just the two things. Or you can call me pickle. Just to shorten the whole pickle this night. Yeah, pickle is uh as Dylan and pickle is has always been a good friend to me. Yeah, that's just that's just how I am. Um I decided, you know, I wanted to like make this channel for rapping and gaming for sure. Like but I, like when I started it up I was being that cringy dude on purpose. Like it wasn't like like it wasn't like for reals, you know, when I said Hey guys, welcome to my gamer rap channel. Of course, I wasn't being serious. Like, I mean, obviously, it was a gamer rap channel, but it's not literally like that. I, I would never say it like that. That's that's just cringy. Welcome to my yeah. gamer rap channel. Check me out. Oh my god, I do TikToks <laughs> too. I do TikToks. Check me out. That's that's that a new stupid. era. Them TikToks is <laughs> a whole new era, and I hate them. TikToks are stupid. I hate, I hate well, TikTok. Well, okay, I have done, I, I will be honest, I have done a few uh, TikToks. I haven't done much because, well, I mean, I don't really want to, uh, well, well, to be honest, I have stage fright. That's the reason why I'm trying, I'm, uh, I don't really want to show my face. But, I mean, I will on uh, Dylan's YouTube uh, be, be guest starring. Hell yeah. Uh, you probably won't actually reason, because I don't. I don't really uh do you know face cam. Okay, well well still. I w- I will still be on uh Dylan's Dylan's YouTube uh from time to time. If I'm not incredibly busy, which I mean, I have been for the past few weeks. Uh But yes, I, I will be guest starring. Uh, there will be there will be more talk to it with me and him. As I, I, far as I know, I, this is all his decision, but I actually started doing face cam as in like when I edit, if I if I throw in something that I feel like I need to like go into detail with, I like face cam myself and go and check it out. Like um, on episode three, I went into detail with ice picks because I said, that's not what an ice pick looks like, you know? Or whatever. So, like, I face cam myself and was like, let me see ice picks, you know, just to show y'all that it's not, you know. And I, I click, I like, I, I look up ice picks, and ice picks actually do look like uh, pins. And I didn't know that. I thought they looked like, uh, I thought they looked like kind of like a pickaxe, but like smaller. But I, I, was, mm-hmm. I was wrong this whole time. That's ice climbers. I think that's where I'm messing up. Uh, you know, a pre- a pretty good topic out there is uh, um, Smash. Period. You know, since it's became such a popular game, uh, yeah. I never really, I, I haven't really, I well, since I haven't had any money, I haven't really gotten able, been able to uh, purchase any new games or anything like that. Oh. I've been mainly playing Kingdom yeah. Hearts, the old, the old Kingdom Hearts games. And, uh, uh, oh Black boy, the door's not shut. I gotta shut the door. I have like OCD for this. Huh? Is that yeah. I'll be in there in a minute. That was my mom, everyone. She's welcome <laughs> to the channel now. Alright. So, anyways, for uh, for me and my family, dinner time is dinner time, and uh, it's ten like twenty three, and we're having dinner now. So, uh, this is where I gotta end the podcast, my big boys. So, thank you, Brahma Bull, for joining me, or Dakota. Uh, we'll make another one if you want to next week, cause like that's how I want to keep it going. It's a week after week after week, but I'm looking for people to join this podcast. Good. That'll be just fine. I was I was happy to do it with you. All right, thank you. It's 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 been a very nice podcast. Uh, I've it had has. fun. So uh, 
Anyways, love my viewers. Uh, subscribe. It helps a lot. You don't even know. Um, and get this thing shared if y'all want to. That's up to y'all. Like I said, subscribing's up to y'all. I don't care. I mean, that's up to y'all. But, like, it helps me mm -hmm. out a lot. So that's why I'm asking y'all to do it. Um, so, yeah. Thanks, guys, for checking me out. Um, listening to this full podcast. And also, again, uh, go add me on PSN, uh, Brahma Bull 99, capital B. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> but uh, go, go add me on PSN, Brahma Bull 99, capital Bs, and also add me.